You know, in this fast-paced world of technology that we're living in 2024, moving forward with AI and the digital media is everywhere, things kind of stay on your phones, you know? And that's great for ease of access, which, you know, I love technology. But there's just something about a printed image, you know? My mother-in-law has an album per grandchild and as they were growing up, since me being the photographer, it was kind of my job to uh, provide images printed for her to put in these albums. And for the longest time, it was not a burden, but it was kind of like, hey, I need a five by seven of this. Hey, I need a four by six of this one at their birthday or this one when they graduated. And you know, after a while, it's like, okay. And then the kids, who are not kids anymore, you know, they're in their early 20s and younger, Whenever they go to Granny's house, they pull out their albums and they love looking at the past. And I just think that's so unique that even though we're in this fast paced digital world, we're still nostalgic. So I've been doing professional photography for 30 years. 30 years. And as far back as I can remember, whenever my clients would see black and white imagery, a lot of times they were impressed by the image that I chose to be black and white. And the question was usually, why did you choose this image to be black and white? This is my explanation. Way back when, in, in the 40s and 50s, everything was only black and white. You know, when things went into the color genre of printed photography, you know, styles changed, looks changed, but how you saw things on paper changed. And I always explain to my clients, when you're looking at a color image, your eyes are recognizing all of that information on this one image. You know, you're looking at this four by six of a simple shot. You're at the beach, sunsets in the background, and the kids are there, but your eyes go everywhere. It goes to the sky, it goes to your kids, it goes to the sand, it goes everywhere. But as soon as you make that image black and white, your eyes stop moving. They stop moving all around the image. It does a, a glance of the whole thing, <clears throat> but it's not staying all over the place because of the color distraction. Your eyes simply go to the subject. And a good photographer back then knew that. So how they placed their subject in the image, no matter what the subject was, it could be the mountain you know, like, Aunt, like Ansel Adams did, or it could be your kids at a beach. Where your subject is placed in the picture, when it's black and white, absolutely black and white, your eyes will go right to the subject. It's awesome. Now, the one thing that I love the most about black and white photography is that since your eyes are not going all over the place, it seems like the emotion of the image is quicker. It's quicker to get it. You just get it. It's like, oh, I like that. It's like this instead. That's a cool picture. Oh, look at those kids. It's like you notice everything first, then you realize the kids are laughing together or somebody sprinkling the sand on the kid's face, whatever it is. I recently came across these three images from a recent wedding. Last night, these three images hit me and I was like, I need to post these suckers, like today. I love black and whites. I'm not distracted by all the colors in the image. I'm not distracted by everybody else in the image, honestly. I see my subject. I immediately go to my subject. And I grew up looking at my grandmother's pictures. She was a model most of her life. And we have these behind the scenes images. And my mom made two albums from all of her images, one from my sister and I each. And every time I look at these images, they, they just seem more impactful you know, than some of today's work. And yes, it has a lot to do with the fact that it's pro photography and it's lit correctly and, you know, all that good stuff. But it's also simple, clean, beautiful. And I think that's why that's the hashtag I chose for my business. It's my style. Simple, clean, beautiful. Keep it simple, meaning you don't need so much in the picture, man. You don't need to have a bride against every flower known to man in the background. Sometimes putting her against a blank wall is more beautiful for the bride. You know, that's your subject. 
So I had an idea for today. Today's Sunday, by the way, so I figured you had a little time in your hands. I would love to see your favorite black and white candids. Uh, just do the hashtag BW4GK, and hopefully I will see that. <laughs> Uh, you can also go to our Facebook group page, Focus with GK. I'm going to post uh, these black and white images there, and I would love to see you over there post your image. Um, it's, it's a fun group. There's no crazy critiquing. We just love to share images and talk about photography. You know, that's about it. But uh, happy Sunday to you, and uh, stay focused on your dreams. It's what, it's what we do here. <laughs> Later, y'all.